On today's video, I'm going to explain what a bedroom is. You probably think you know what a bedroom is, but you don't. Roll the intro. What's going on everybody? This is Danny here for a new weekly video talking about everything related to real estate. And on this video, I'm going to explain what a bedroom is, what the legal requirements are, and why you should care if you're looking to buy or sell a home. And before I get started, all we ask is that you like and subscribe to our Facebook and YouTube pages. There's a link below to the video. It would really help us out if you liked it, shared it, watched it. The YouTube and Facebook algorithms really like when people click like and subscribe, so please help us. And it will also help you stay up to date with all of our newest weekly videos. All right, so what is a bedroom, you may ask yourself. You probably have asked yourself this before and you think you may know the answer, but you really don't. There are actually specific requirements that most cities and most states have to constitute a room as a bedroom. And it's for good reason, because bedrooms, the amount of bedrooms in a home can be one of the single most important attributes of a listing that buyers are searching for. If a buyer is searching for a four bedroom house, they wanna see legit four bedrooms, not three bedrooms plus a small little closet. And it can make all the difference in the value of the home depending on how many bedrooms there are. So the first requirement, and again, this changes from state to state, from city to city, but on average, a bedroom has to have a minimum of 70 to 80 square feet in the actual room. So if you've seen some of these older walk-up listings in Chicago, let's say, and there's a five by five bedroom, that's not technically a legal bedroom. I'm sure they can call it a bedroom because there's a bed in there, but it's not a legal bedroom. You wanna see a minimum of 70 to 80 square feet in the room. And that goes for the width and the height. A good rule of thumb is that there should be around seven feet in width in the room which is enough to fit a bed and a person, and a seven foot vertical from the floor to the ceiling. Doesn't matter that your best friend's sleeping in there with an air mattress, it doesn't count as an actual bedroom. Seven feet, seven feet to call it a bedroom. Now here's a really important thing to know is that a legal bedroom needs two means of egress or two ways to get out of the room. And the bedroom door counts as one, so on a minimum you need a window that you can escape out of, a door, or a skylight. And again, if this is a loft listing and there's not fully finished walls, it may differ, but a good rule of thumb is that you need to have two ways of egress from the room. Skylights can count in a case-to-case -case basis, but a window needs to be at least five and a half square feet. So you need to be able to get out of the window if you had to in an emergency. Now, is an inspector gonna pull out a ruler or is the buyer gonna pull out a ruler and measure every single inch of the window or of the room to make sure it's a legal room? Probably not. But it's good to know these things because if someone's marketing it as a four bedroom, but that fourth bedroom is five by six and it's five feet tall and there's a tiny window, you know off the bat that's not a legal bedroom. And you'd be surprised how many listings and how many sellers wanna count a room as a bedroom when in fact it's not. And one of the most commonly asked questions about a bedroom is does it need to have a closet? The answer is no, it does not need to have a closet. It needs to have a window or a second way to get out of the building. Now your wife or husband may not agree that a bedroom can't have a closet, but it can. It can have no closet. The good news is if you're searching for newer homes or rehabbed homes, odds are the bedrooms are gonna have some sort of closet because every buyer wants a closet in the bedroom. You need to store stuff, clothes, ideally. But if you're looking at older buildings that haven't been touched in 50 years, there may not be a closet in the bedroom. It is what it is. These are all very important topics and it may seem like common sense, but a lot of people don't know these things and it is important when you're shopping or selling a home. So you're probably asking yourself, what do I do if my room doesn't match the criteria to constitute as a legal bedroom? Well, for one, don't call it a bedroom. For two, you can market it as a guest room, an office, a bonus room, a walk-in closet, whatever you wanna call it, just don't call it an actual bedroom. This also applies to below ground level bedrooms. If you're below ground level, you technically can't count that as a normal bedroom. You have to mark with an asterisk that it is below ground level, but it's still a bedroom. All right, hopefully you learned something today. You can go tell your friends and family that you just learned what a bedroom was. So if you still have questions on what a bedroom is or any other questions related to real estate, DM us, comment below, click the like and subscribe button in the link below, help us out, follow our page. You're gonna get weekly videos educating you on everything related to real estate, and we'd really, really appreciate it. So share the video, click like, subscribe, and we'll see you on next week's video.